Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Organized with Joy. Today I'm bringing another fall clean and decorate with me and I will be working on a few spaces in my home, adding some fall decor. But also I am thinking about rearranging this room, which is my living room. I don't know if rearranging my bedroom kind of gave me the bug to rearrange. If you missed that video, it was on Monday where I did a makeover in my bedroom, including rearranging it. But kind of what spurred this on is I used to have a TV on the armoire that is in this room and that TV broke and I decided to just not replace it. I felt like it wasn't used enough to replace it. And so now this armoire just looks weird to me. I was joking with my daughter that it kind of looks headless. It looks like it's supposed to have something on top of it but it got me to thinking about how I could rearrange this room to just look better or function better. I was thinking about how one of my friends who hosts our friend group get together often has like two sofas facing each other and how it's such a great setup for just having conversations. And I feel like now that there's no TV in this room, it's become somewhat of a conversation room or a, maybe a traditional living room. And so I was kind of thinking that I wanted to um, arrange it in such a way that I had seating across from each other so it's easier to have conversations. But I definitely need to clean these rooms and take down the old decor and bring out all of the pumpkins, all of the fall decor. I feel like fall is maybe my favorite time to decorate. I just love all of the fall things. So let's get into this. I did want to tell you all that this is a collaboration video. My friend Jessica Myros is the main host and then my friend Angie Perry and myself are the co-hosts to this collaboration. There will be several other ladies sharing some fall inspired content so be sure to look for the playlist link in my description box below. Searching for an open door I was looking for a peace of mind It's a feeling that I tend to get Won't rest until I make it right Couldn't stand the thought of losing her Since 
Okay, now that this room is clean, I before I start rearranging things, I am going to put these plugins in. These are Yankee Candle plugins, and I used to always have these around my house a really long time ago. But when I got into like more all natural products, I ended up eliminating these from my home because I know they're made with chemicals. But I just got tired of my house not smelling really good. It's something that I just have a really sensitive nose, so I really like my house to smell good. So um, I grabbed um, these at the Yankee Candle store. And I do have four of these plugins around my house, but I only replace two at a time because I do feel like it's a really strong smell. And so if I replaced all four, it would be pungent. Also, um, I don't replace them like as soon as it's all gone. I just replace them when I feel like it. But the scents, I especially get excited for the fall scents and I got crisp campfire apples and cider house. So those are the two scents I'm going to be putting out in my home right now. I usually choose two plugins that are kind of far from each other um, so that the scent kind of spreads throughout the house. Okay friends, this is what it's looking like so far and I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I might need to leave it this way for a couple of days and I think uh, bringing out my fall decor and setting up decor might help because obviously right now there's just a hodgepodge of things everywhere. Um, I didn't want to commit to hanging up that hat rack until I decided on the arrangement, um, but this is where I'm at right now. Okay, y'all, I am gonna need to take a coffee break soon. My friend told me that this week, Starbucks came out with the pumpkin cream cold brew, which I wait for all year long. So I might head over there and get one of those. Um, but I was gonna decorate this coffee table really quickly, just um, without really thinking much about it, just kind of throwing some things out and maybe rearranging a little bit later. Um, 
but I did bring this down from my bedroom when I did my bedroom makeover. This used to be in my bedroom and I put something else in that place. And so I just brought this down here and set this here. There's actually a lot of rearranging that goes on whenever a new season comes in my house um, because the vase that used to be here for the spring and summer, I actually grabbed for my fall porch makeover. So it was just some rearranging of a bunch of vases basically. But anyway, I wanted to set this here and see how that goes. And then um, these were also up in my bedroom, these geometric sculpture shapes. And I might use those, these books. I actually have been kind of liking how my coffee table has been styled, um, where it's just a few things scattered um, on the coffee table. So um, I might just keep, doing that same setup and like I said maybe I'll rearrange in just a bit. I am back with my pumpkin cream cold brew the first one of the season I already <clears throat> I already took a sip because I made a Instagram reel doing it but the second sip is almost just as good but I'm gonna take a little break and drink some coffee and probably before this is done I'll be itching to get back to decorating um, because that's the fun part. So I'm gonna take a little break and be back with you in just a minute. Okay friends, not quite done with my coffee, but I will get to it slowly as I continue decorating. But I'm over here in this corner because this is where I keep a lot of my extra decor. And this drawer is mostly fall. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. But I'm going to put away um, some of these things that I had out for spring and summer and get out my fall stuff to see what I have to work with. Okay, here's everything that I gathered that might be fall related. I won't necessarily use all of this. I do have a couple more spaces that I will want to decorate throughout my home. So some of it I will use in those spaces. Okay, so um, this year I did not really buy a whole lot extra to decorate with for fall. I do have quite a bit of fall decor as it is. And also, if you're new to my channel, I am on a journey towards minimalism, trying to simplify my home and trying to not bring stuff into my home as often. Um, I did buy a few candles because I didn't have any fall candles left from last year. And I have one in my bedroom and then I also have these two. So I'll use those. Um, I did buy one uh, stem uh, or a group of stems um, but I will not use those um, in my decorating today because I have an idea for where I want to place that someplace else in my house which will be a different video. I also wanted to show you these pumpkins. I have so many. I really should declutter some of them. I think last year I didn't put them all out so maybe I should assess what I put out this year. Um, but I bought them so long ago. I want to say like 15 years ago, they used to be orange when I first purchased them. And at some point I decided to spray paint them white because I just wanted kind of a more minimal aesthetic or a neutral aesthetic. And I still really love them. I know I have too many, but I just worry because I 
style them differently every year and so I just keep the extras but maybe I should declutter some of them. I know I didn't post a video yesterday for Thoughtful Thursday, but I did want to share some thoughts about fall in this video and just the changing of seasons. I absolutely love fall. It is my favorite season and I always look forward to this change in season. I don't know if it's because my birthday is in the fall or if it's after living in the South for over 20 years, by September, I'm just craving cooler mornings and crisper air. Fall decor is my favorite out of all of my decor stash. I love the pumpkins and the deer antlers, fall candles and the fall stems. I also love the food associated with fall. Of course, I love all things pumpkin, but I'm also anxious to incorporate warmer, cozier dishes that feed the body and the soul. I love the sights of fall, the leaves changing color, the bright lights of Friday night lights, and the parade of costumes that come through for Halloween. I love the sounds of fall too, the bus pulling up in front of our house early in the morning and the chatter of the kids as they load onto the bus, the sound of football games playing on TV on Saturday. We can even hear the marching band practicing from our house. I love the smells of fall, the fall candles, bonfires, and cozy meals cooking in the crock pot. Whenever seasons change, it reminds me that change can be hard, leaving behind the previous season, but it can also be good embracing the season ahead. It can be hard to leave behind the long, lazy days of summer, the warm sunshine, swimming, barbecues, and the loose schedules, but there will be beautiful things in the season ahead as well. Having passed through many seasons in life, getting married, having children, buying homes, sending our first off to school, and then the second and the third, the hectic days of three kids and sports and other activities, packing up two of my three to move to college, it's hard to believe I'm heading into some final chapters or seasons of life. I'm headed into a season of no more, I can't wait untils. It can be hard to leave seasons of life that felt full and fulfilling, but there is something beautiful on the other side. In every season, there is something special to experience and celebrate. I hope whatever season of life you are in, you are savoring the moments. I hope as we head into fall, you will see all of the beautiful things in this season.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Be sure to check out the playlist link in my description box below for even more fall inspired content. And if you're new to my channel, particularly if you're coming over from one of the other ladies channels, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope that you enjoyed this content and might consider subscribing. I did film and edit this video a little bit differently than I have in my past videos. I did add some vlog style clips to this video and I would love to hear your opinion on if you liked this style. But thank you so much for watching until the end and I will see you in the next one. Bye!